Well, you know, I think I've droned on long enough. I just heard what happened. I wanted to offer my condolences to the team. Quark's loss is a true tragedy. The man was a hero. Brave, honest, kind, and humble to the core. <laughs> what a load of bullshit. Hello, we are to be for Sim, the post-game of Rogue Galaxy. And this time, we finally beat the Ghost of Extreme. Off screen though, oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, I've been gone for a little while because I've been grinding Jaster to level 99. If that actually got a trophy, which I can actually show off. Wait a second. Do 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 do. But it should be around here somewhere. A strong resolution. Reach level 99 with any character. So, uh. There we go. That's when I got it right there. <laughs> yeah, just when I beat in the <laughs> that guy again. <laughs> but anywho, yeah, it's a giant grind fest. It was uh, not fun. But what's this? Sign looks different. What does our sign look like before the accident, Daytron? So yeah, it's a reward for beating the ghost for a second time. You actually get some um, shoes costume. I wonder where this is. I can show you guys a description of that actually. Simon's clothes from when he was still known as Show. Fill with memories of Miyoko and Chi. Hmm. And Chi, what the other name is. But you know, there we go. Also, I'm screaming over my sectors a bit, and to the point where quite a few of them are ma all of them maxed out now, except for one. My uh, Dark Emperor. But he's gone at quite a few levels too. Yep, rank 4. But he can still level up if he wanted to. So he's pretty good at this point. Everyone else though is now maxed out. So even if I fed them something or if they gained experience, they will not level up now. But so pretty good. But the one I had to um so yeah, I've started I think at first managed to get rid of the fencer, but when I checked to look at the stats of my um cannon, yeah it wasn't he wasn't very good compared to the fencer, so I I benched him and have this guy instead. So yeah. Here we go. And spoiler alert, the guys, I was doing a wearing off screen, not completing it. I found out a method how to get a lot of experience through insectors, but without um, but without getting hacked. You see, when we completed insector for the first time, I may really mention this insector wearing the experience you get is cut in half. But per se, you did a bunch of other rounds, but gave up on their last one. What would have happened? You still got the experience you got. If you redid really that rank, you still I'm get the experience, really the today. maximum amount that you get before completing it. As long as you haven't actually completed all five rounds, you can do it to like four rounds or so, give up on the fifth, and still get a lot more experience that way if you did all five of half experience. It's how I managed to get um, my Dark Emperor to level up so quickly. It was really useful. I actually wish I actually behind, thought about okay. this earlier. I could have done this by other insectors that might be an even higher level. Maybe like level 5 or something. Because the thing is, when you keep feeding them nothing but food, eventually the parameters will max out before you can level them up. My insectors are at level 4 at this point, so they're all pretty good. But I didn't make the same mistake with Rome. You can still go and become stronger. Which is going to be my secret back when we're doing S rank. But today we're doing A rank. Not much of a spoil for me because I've already done quite a lot before, but I just haven't completed it. The only one I ever done is the fifth round because that one always say give up, but still got all my experience. It was a really great way of leveling up quicker because I did not want to drag this out any more than I did by purposely doing B rank over and over again off screen. And this was just so stupid doing that actually. So I uh, switched to that earlier. So let's do, let's do this. A rank is the battlefield for the highest level insectors in the galaxy. Brace yourself for the greatest challenge ever. Uh, he says that now, but S rank is a whole other beast. And as for a bit of a challenge myself, I'm going to do all five rounds without saving in between. Because I've already done all four rounds without saving in between as practice. Yeah, seriously I have. So I'm going to do all five rounds, a bit of a challenge. I feel that confident today. <laughs> Ladies! Gentlemen, the A-Rank match is about to begin! 
witness the battle for the highest rank in the Insectron Tournament. Are you ready to battle? Here comes the first round. Now this first fight you can see has to be the toughest because of all these little elves. But now you get but now I actually get to show you something. You see we're having nothing but little elves for the most part is actually a bad idea. Yes, I have two little elves, I could have three or four, but that's actually pretty bad. And you'll see why during this fight. And you get to see the Dark Emperor in action. Why is this so awesome? I'll show you what I'm made of! But yeah, the annoying thing is though is that when I charm these guys, they could get charmed right back. Because pretty much like a charming game, back and forth, over and over again. <laughs> if I can even charm that is. Let's see. Yep, charmed good. But yeah, these most of my sectors down will not get any more stat boosts. Probably the only one you will is probably my um, Dark Emperor. You see soon enough during the uh, experience screen. Pretty sweet, right? Not so much because if if I'm feeling like correctly, these guys probably charm right back. There we go. Oh, we, they did it. That's what they usually do. Yeah, huh, nice. and charm. See? That's why it's not going to have in time with a charm. Look at that. Yeah. My entire... T I have pretty much owned him now. My entire team is like this. It's it's crazy. But yeah. That's why it's not a good idea to have that. Because I could charm one guy, then I could charm the other guy, I could go on so and so until I charm everyone on the team. That's why having nothing but little elves is a bad idea. This is why you need to have a balanced team. Otherwise you're screwed. There we go. Of course. Also, if you want the maximum amount of experience for per match, you want to kill all your enemies in sectors. All of them. Yeah. So I'm just going to go with these guys as a starter. Because these guys are the only sectors, so I get more experience this way. Yeah, you see? Not that side of them, but little else. It just makes it so easy. Guess this is as far as I go. The max you can get though for these A rank is 45 experience. I got 36 because one of them is still alive. See? Notice that? Can't grow any further? That's because um, I've maxed them out as best I could. But Rogue can still level up a bit. So that's pretty sweet. So I'm not going to feed him any more of the, um, any. I'm not going to feed him anything else down. Just give him experience and stuff, if I need be. But let's continue on. Let's keep going on to the second round. But that could have gone either way. He could have really screwed me over and just kept using attacks over and over again on him. Oh, uh, this man is pretty. This match is pretty funny. So yeah, if you continue from the last match. You can basically like automatically get all the insectors straight away from your last match. And you have to reset over and over again. Again, I do this because I'm so comfortable But if you're not, then by all means, save before doing a fight. I'm definitely going to be saving for every fight during the S rank. There's no way I'm doing that in one go. That is suicide. <laughs> I'll win for sure. Yeah, probably not, kid. Oh yeah, this insector is pretty funny. 
basically has two attacks. He can either wall his bomb out, or he can do a kamikaze move and kill himself, he'll do a ton of damage to finding enemies. You probably guess what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. Alright, there we go. Well, I haven't shown off my special ability of Worm yet. And then like with the other, as you can see, he has the Infinity Symbol on there. So he can use the Infinite Time as well. Also when he attacks, there's a chance that he actually knocks back an Insector and they get knocked back and um, and they get stuck in their back for a while. It's really cool. Damn, he poisoned me. Well, I guess I'll show off now, see if I can knock him back. No. There we go, that's more like it. Really? <laughs> okay, now for the Gamakazi move. So move here, special. I can do the bomb drop. Or I can do the bomber, which hurt me, but also surrounding enemies. So I'm gonna do the bomber. There's a ton of damage, but as you saw, it's a pretty big price. Yeah, the it also does damage, it also pretty much kills off the other insector, so you know, it's pretty risk move. But if it misses, then you know, it's Whoa. even more not that good. As a matter of this point, I've already won this. I guess now I'm gonna show off the other move. It's powerful, but the problem is it does miss quite a bit. Let's see if it hits. Oh, it actually hit! Well, I'm glad I was wrong. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm putting this one a little bit too close, <laughs> but um, I should still be okay. Go easy on me. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Well, oh, I wanted to kill that insect to get more experience, but doesn't matter. You didn't have to be so hard on me. Yes, I did, kid. Yes, I did. <laughs> Ooh, extra attack boost times too. Nice. The bout is over. You've won. Congratulations. Also, um, as of rewards you get for the Ghost of Extreme, you always get another that royal fruit. Things are really heating up in here. Time for the third round. So, uh, yeah, um, if I did the Ghost of a third time, which extreme, which I'm not going to do, I am done with that place now. All you get from now on is just um, royal fruit, which I guess is good if you want an entire team of Dark Emperors. But honestly, it's, as great as Dark Emperor is, it's not worth doing that many times just for well, like one Dark Emperor. It's a bit overkill and way too time to to try and um, get them up to speed. It's time to to do one. Long range in sectors, so you know, this way we'll say not do that. Now you'll see what a real man is. Alright. If I can charm that guy, then I can poison the king. There we go. Nice. Oh, wait a minute. And then leave you there. So yeah, that's why I shouldn't have an entire team of little elves, as you saw. I easily dominate them all by controlling the most pretty much most of the team, which is bad, so don't do that. That's why it's important to have a balanced team. I'm gonna get rid of you actually. I don't need to charm anyone. Oh, come on, really? Really? Oh, 
so yeah, like I said, there is a chance you can flip someone over. I guess in this case, I'll just unlock it, but it can happen. Yeah, how can you charm anyone? He's right there. Yeah, whatever. Oh, come on! <sighs> it. Shoot! There we go. Turn a bit close again. That's fine. I feel lucky today. Let's move back now. Stop. That can't be. So Alright, she's talking. <laughs> Congratulations! So you're probably wondering, what happened to that other piece of royal fruit then? I just fed it to my um, Dark Emperor. I wasn't going to get another one. It gives you a ton of stat boost for the insects you're using it on. So it makes sense to use it on him. Now we're getting to the best part! Here comes the fourth round! Start! Alright. It's Star himself. Nope. That one. Fancy a game, young man? But yeah, all I can tell you basically about Insecto is basically at the end of the day to get the high ranked ones to get to certain areas and then pretty much just feed them as a Sanchez fruit. But once their stat is maxed out in either attack or defense, feed them nothing but stats to increase their health so that they can survive longer than attacks. That's the best advice I can give you to Insectors. But don't overfeed them because you might want to level them up as well. It's about finding the balance. So then we do um, high level Insecto tournaments without winning so you can still get an active experience. That's what I've learned. All this. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't gonna last that long. <laughs> Yeah. 
bring it. Really? Everything twice. All right, nice. Quite a bit of health now. Oh, whoops! Hey, two time to give up. Let's see if I can flip him. No, there's a chance when a chance when a when a dark him does a normal attack, you actually flip the insector over, and if he's at the edge, you can flip him. And push him a square forward and out of bounds. I still have much to learn. That's what makes him so powerful. The bout is over. You've won. Congratulations. Now I could save now, but I made promises of promise. Let's do round five. Here we go. It's the final round. Now this one I've never actually fought before. I always gave up at the end because I was just doing for the experience. So it's completely new for me. But let's see. We're at the end there, so there we go. That makes more sense. See there. Be there instead, actually, Fencer. Place there. there. But yeah, all of them are level five. I'm only one level down. No mercy. Let's see if I can challenge each one of them. Nope. Okay, I got one. Ooh. Yeah, there's a chance they could both miss. No, that, that, that does happen. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Here they go. I can't do anything from there, so I just end my turn. You brat. There, in case I miss. Mind. Well, I can make win this now. now. Hmm. I'm gonna actually flip it. Nope. 
you can, he does flip, I swear he does. You can push, you can push enemy back one space and they turn over, it does happen. I'm just being unlucky. <laughs> there. Helps you sleep at night, buddy, but it looks like you pretty much lost it now. And this should do it. Boom! And we've won A Wank. This is a disgrace! Oh-ho! He's done it! We have a new A-ranked champion! Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for the champion! Ricky Doo, a grand calibre. Not that great. But, with that done, next time in the finale of World Galaxy. Looks like in the PS2 version, we're going to finish this off by doing the S rank. Which is the toughest rank in the entire game. Oh, I haven't shown you a good look at show, have I? But this is what it looks like now. Really sweet, huh? It's pretty cool to do it like this. So there we go. I mean, that looks simple. That's because we didn't. I did a ton of times off screen. That's just for um, grinding levels. I needed some exercise anyway. But S rank though, now be a different story. Uh, let's have a look. How the experience they get for all those fights? Hmm, a nice chunk, but still. Yeah, what the heck, I might as well feed you. There we go. So next time, like I said, it'll be the finale of Rogue Galaxy, where we will do the S rank, and also get the final trophy in the game, and, and get the platinum. But with that, this is Master in V47, Games of all types are obviously the platformer. Stay classy.